So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my design tips on creating a poster from start to finish and my thought process behind it. So my name is Abby Connick and I am the owner of Abby Design where I create memorable branding for different businesses. So once I've completed a brand for a client, I may continue working for them, creating social posts, stationery, packaging, everything like that. So I thought it'd be a nice idea to create a poster and show you what I can do with that poster and how I turn it into other things. So in this video, I will be creating a series of posters that are based around clothing and the fashion industry. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I like to keep my designs quite quirky and quite fun. So I'm gonna be incorporating this into the designs. And once I've finished the poster, I'm gonna show you how by just having one poster, you can turn this into a lot of collateral for social posts, website banners and everything like that. I'll also be using both Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop to do so. So if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and check out my Instagram page where I post a lot of fun and quirky designs on there too. So the first step is the concept and the idea behind the poster. So what I'm thinking is obviously I've chosen the fashion industry and clothing. So I'm gonna come up with a theme which is gonna be like an animal print collection. So I'm gonna be creating posters that are gonna advertise these prints. So you're probably thinking, where the hell do I start to make a poster? So my next step is create a Pinterest board or a mood board full of your ideas that are in your head so you can start to whittle it down and eliminate the things that aren't gonna work and pick the things that are gonna work. So I have started making a Pinterest board, which I will show you. I have put three main things. So I've got the animal prints that I wanna use. So I have chosen the cheetah and the zebra. So I'm gonna be making two different posters. And then I've chosen a few designs which have really nice fonts on them and I really like the idea of mixing the font in with the model so hiding parts of the font so I've chosen a poster that shows that and then the last thing is I've picked a load of things that have really nice use of collages because I really want to incorporate this idea into my design so yeah pick three things or three to five things that you like and start to grab images from that and then you can start whittling it down. So my next Next step is dragging everything that I like the look of from Pinterest into my artboard on Illustrator. So I've done this already and I've picked out the things that I really like the most and it always means that if I need to, I can go back to it whilst working on the design. So if I forget anything, it's gonna be right next to your artboard. Okay, so the next stage of my process is actually thinking about how you want your posters to look. So for me, I will come into Illustrator and I will draw out and map out where I want things to go, what sort of text I want to be on the poster and basically the initial idea of how I want to start it and how I want it to look. And I mean, it may not finish that way, but at least you have an idea going into the design. Okay, so I found the image that I wanna use and I'm gonna cut it out in Photoshop so it can be used on any background. I'm just grabbing my pen tool and removing any bits that I know may get picked up with the white when I use the Imagic Eraser tool. There are lots of ways to do this, so it really does depend on how complex your object is. So once I've done that, I am grabbing the Magic Eraser tool and using it on the white background, which will remove this for me. Moving on to the second model now, I'm just gonna use the select subject tool for this one and then go in with the selection tool to add in any bits that it may have missed. I then simply press the add layer mask in the bottom right, which will mask the selected layer for me. As you can see, the top of the model's head is cut off, which isn't great. So I'm just gonna go in and use the cloning tool to add in the remainder of the head. Out the two models for my two posters I'm gonna bring them from Photoshop into Illustrator and create the designs in Illustrator so once I've positioned my model I'm gonna work everything around this and really draw all that attention to her and her piece of clothing so I'm just going in and positioning the text roughly where I want it to be I think I'll create a colour palette that relates to the cheetah's trousers and work from these colours when um, working on the poster. I'm going to use these colours for each of the texts just to give it some more character. Now 
Now because I want to go for that collage style, I'm going to add in some thick borders around the model to make it look like she's been cut out from a magazine, which I think will give it that really cool effect that I'm after. Just going in and adding some different coloured lines that direct your eyes directly to the model and the piece of clothing. I want to get a cheetah pattern in here so I'm going to make one up and press the make pattern button to do so. Newspaper text definitely needs a little colour change as it's too white at the moment so I'm just going in um, on my transparency layer and adding an orangey colour over the top of it. With the text, I had a really cool idea to make it 3D, so I'm gonna do that now by adding an outer path to the text and using the blend options tool to make it look like it is 3D. So I'm just gonna do exactly the same to the bottom of the poster and really try and draw the viewer's eyes to the model. So I really like the image to the right with the white lines drawn over the person, so I'm going to incorporate this into my design. I'm just drawing the lines on the arms with the pencil tool and then going in with the width tool to amend the shape of the ends. I'm just going to draw over the parts of the body and clothes too to give it the same effect. So I had a really cool idea to add in some yellow sunflowers to keep in line with that collage effect. So I'm just going to cut some out now in Photoshop and place it around my model just to see what it looks like. So now it's time to work on the background. I'm definitely going to use the cheetah pattern that I made, but turn the opacity right down to give it that really nice subtle look. I'm just going to have a play around with some more of the lines to direct your eyes to the model. process of the first poster completed. I literally love the outcome of it and how quirky and fun it feels, yet we're still trying to promote that piece of clothing. So we're just trying to adapt on the piece of clothing and incorporate that into the poster. So I'm really excited to start on the zebra print. I'm not sure what sort of road I want to go down, but it will probably be similar to the one I've created to keep them pretty consistent. And then once I've done this, I will start preparing them into sort of website bound social posts and everything like that so I'm super excited to get on with it. So on to poster 2 now and this is going to have the same sort of feel and look as poster 1 but obviously with the zebra pattern and the black and white colours. 
So instead of talking through it, I'm just gonna speed the process up for you so you guys can watch me design this second poster. Okay, so that was the process of creating the two posters and as you can see they are pretty similar in style which is what we were going for and yeah they just look awesome I'm so impressed with um, the end result so now what we're gonna do is transform these into other collateral um, for other stationery for social posts and everything like that so you guys can see how you can just use one thing and turn it into plenty more okay so the first thing I want to turn my post into is a social post so for this I will use a 1080 pixel by 1080 pixel artboard and I will bring in my poster and I will rearrange the poster to see what fits perfectly with the size and I will show you how to do that. So with this sometimes it's as simple as increasing the whole size of the poster and making it fit to the artboard. But I'm just going to go in and show you how you would do each bit separately. <laughs> So you can't tell me that that wasn't easy. So it's super easy to reuse things. So if you've ever done something in the past, make sure you are regurgitating it, reusing it for other socials and everything like that. So you're not just putting it in one place. And as you've seen, that literally took me like five minutes to change a poster to a different size, which now can be used on social media. So the next thing I wanna create is a banner. So I'm gonna go for a 1920 by 1080 banner, which can be used on the homepage of a website. I'm gonna incorporate both of these designs together so you can see the collection um, as a whole and not separately. Okay, so that is the poster, social posts, and the website header all done. So as you can see, once you've created the main thing, which was the poster for me, it is so easy to create the collateral for it. It literally took me like 10 minutes 
five to ten minutes to make that um, website banner. So yeah, make sure you are utilizing the things that you are making and if your client wants um, more things then you will know that it is easy to make. What I'm gonna do now is just mock these up. This is how I normally present it to my clients. So I would mock it up as a social post on a phone um, and the website banner on a website just so they can get a feel of what it's gonna look like. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Let me know what you thought of the poster design and if that is a sort of style that you like. And if you want me to do another sort of style, let me know what style you would want that to be. And also remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell.